this one will make the top of this vibrate. And where it moves up and down a lot, it'll bounce the sand around until it randomly goes to a place where it's not bouncing around a lot. So we'll be able to find the nodal uh, lines or rings or whatever they turn out to be on the, uh, the disc here. Ready? Oh, that is really cool. <laughs> Huh. Huh. Right, bang. <laughs> nice. All right, now it's a little imperfect, so you can get a couple different resonances if you try different spots. Let's see. There it is. Well, it's the same one. <laughs> also, extremely messy. Oh, that's wow. really <laughs> <laughs> more sand. It's gone. Spread it out. Oh, it's rotating Changed. around. Yeah. <laughs> Let the cookies work their way down here. Hey, hey, pass it down. Pass it down. Cool. All right. I'll do my best. <laughs> Low frequency. Mm -hmm. Pretty similar. Still a second home mm -hmm. If I strike it in the middle. I can't really see it very well in the video. Mm, nice. Two lines there and there. We need that over the camera, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to plug the camera into the <laughs> thing. Is that the same line again? Slightly different one from an entire tray of cookies to like four in ten seconds. All right. Maybe thirty. Now, like the violin, this this actually the violin. Uh, you, you may not know this, but it has a sound post. There's a stick. It's really about that size that uh, connects the front to the back. It's actually just in there. It's kind of friction fit. So it transmits the vibration. I introduced the boss. <laughs> On a real violin stringed instrument, the, uh, the the top is actually curved, and the wood is shaved, so it's different thicknesses at different uh, distances. The sound post is there. Of course, the major difference is, on a violin, there's a big chunk of wood here, so you'll you'll be able to vibrate up and down at the edges where you wouldn't get that pattern on a violin. But what this does demonstrate is that the pattern's more complex with a more complex object like this. Well, the, the body of the violin is designed to basically let the sound resonate and, and right. transmit the, the resonance to, to the air. Particular position or something like that? Uh, I think it's partly structural and partly for sound. Yeah. I've heard there's some reason for the shape of the up hole, but I'm not sure fancy. exactly. <laughs> it's true, part it of it. fancy. I, and a lot of the, the designs are also designed not to crack. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think a lot of this shape, you know, the, the point here can't do much. But you need a narrower uh, body to so you can move the violin bow across. Yeah. Now we found a couple of resonances that just affect, like it just seems one half of it's resonating, and the other half isn't involved. Just get one happening down here in the middle there in that narrow bit. That's somewhere near where the, the bridge would be, right? Yeah. Trying to figure out the reason for We've that. gotten good ones in there. Oh, that's a cool one. Getting both. Oh. <laughs> it's 
pretty neat. All sorts of fun shapes. Mm. Yep. Interesting. Mm. All right. Cool. Enough Thank you. you. Yep. Is that your encore?